Welcome back to Music Week. That's right. <laughs> when you think of the ukulele, you probably think of a little island music. Hello, Hawaii. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. We're really cutting loose today. See, I live Joe Barlow found that it's a lot more than that, and it's not just in Hawaii and in the islands <laughs> or wherever Heather goes on vacation at, but right here in central Illinois. That's right. And, uh, okay, guys, so here's what you need to do. You take some brass, you take some percussion, and you throw in a funky bass line, and you might have a James Brown tribute band maybe but when you add the ukulele that's when you get the Duke of Uke and his novelty orchestra to be in a genre band like uh, mm -hmm. we love jazz we love blues we love Motown but I'm glad we don't have to do one kind of music all the time we get yeah. to do anything we and want it's really if someone has an idea we all work yeah. together to to craft yeah. the idea and, and the, our ideas are so diverse they, they really are so diverse it's really. great and a lot of people have assumed we're going to be doing funny music or old timey music and then we bust out you know some fun we mm -hmm. bust out some fun the song that I'm aiming for is, uh, I want it to be a little unclassifiable. You know, I don't, uh, uh, there are elements that are like bringing into what we're working on, a bit, bits of, uh, of, uh, uh, of jazz, bits of soul, bits of everything, but I, I would like to get to a point where really it'd be hard to define what we do, and it's already getting there, it's a little hard. We were yeah. um, nominated for um, best whatever band, didn't you? Whatever genre. Whatever genre. Oh, whatever genre. Yeah. We've been calling ourselves orchestral funk pop, and we feel like that's the best uh, genre, for lack of a better description. The Duke of Uke and his novelty orchestra started with one man and a ukulele. He traded it in for a Game Boy. At a yeah, I had a Game Boy, and it was sucking out my life. And then I walked into uh, Trader's World. I went to a pawn shop, and uh, I saw the ukulele on the wall, and I made a trade for it. And I've never been bored ever since getting my ukulele. The band has changed over the years, but in 2009, they established their current lineup. What's happened is that the, the funky end has really been jacked up. Uh, we did a couple of kind of fast numbers, but a lot of the stuff we do is kind of slow, pretty stuff. And now we're getting a lot more kind of, uh, I don't know, rock and roll or Motown or whatever. Um, I think more Motown. Yeah, more Motown. Like, really, um, we've gotten to where we do the three part harmonies, which this is a new piece of our sound that I think has really inspired yeah. all, all yeah. of us. What works for us is we all have such diverse musical backgrounds yeah. and we really focus on collaborative songwriting. Yeah. So we it usually starts with a kind of backbone yeah. that Dave and Sarah will put together um, and then it comes to the group and we all chop it up and try things. I think yeah. we really Well the other thing too is Claire's got a classical background and we've composed she's also I've also composed with her. Uh, and, and those are based on, on actual classical music structures. So I want to just get a, a, kind of a bit of everything, you know, I, and I want to keep on doing that. I want to expand it. I think I think we often will play new things that you know are almost outside of our abilities, yeah. or are outside of our. Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. Yeah, it's it's amazing, and you know, it, it really helps us grow as individuals and as a band. And you know, it, I think it all plays into this original sound, how, you know, how we love to challenge ourselves. On a dynamic level, for Spectrum, our band has a capability to play, uh, as you see here, in the living room, nice and intimate, with very little miking. Um, but we also, you know, we play in the clubs and we have played on the big festival stages. Um, and we really grow a lot in that process of being in these different sound environments where we can explore. Because um, in a lot of ways, we're still discovering our own sound. We, I think we really realized early on that we have all these really cool Authentic vintage instruments and um, 
the way that they're mixed is really unusual in a way, but it's really uh, beautiful too. So we just all were like, oh, we can do this, we can do that, and you know, we just keep adapting and growing that way. Like Sarah and I were playing for years, like to, to nobody. You know, and, but we just we got we kept and did it. And, like really, we were playing every week together, and, and yeah. as, like, once we got together, we were playing. But we were doing it for nobody for a long time. We just did it for ourselves, and we were lucky to get a little bar gig, really. But we kept on doing it just because it was like our knitting club. We always called it the knitting club, and what we like to get together and knit is is music. And it's great because we're starting to get recognized for it. We were really like a family. Um, and it's, it's great because we don't have to live with each other. And, and all the drama, there's no, well, wow. there's no, really, there's no really oh, is drama, actually. It's oh, shocking, like, how civil we, we are. We really like each other. Yeah, watch, yeah. The, watch the Ramones yeah, documentary and tell us how much drama we have. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then he hurled a chair at his head. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> What a cool sound. I love, they're like, you spend some time, they're like, we're not, we're whatever sound. Mm -hmm. I like it though. Cool, poppy. Oh, I know. Jazzy. And then if you're in the living room with them, yeah. like, you know, VIPs like me, you, know, oh. you, you get to really hear it and it's yeah. surrounding you. It's really cool. Very cool. Well, and, you're going to uh, play for us coming up, right? Right. Well, yeah. I mean, he's the Duke of Uke and then I am the lowly. The Prince, Prince of, Uke? of Uke? I think that's higher than Duke, isn't it? No, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the peasant? Pe peasant of oh, I'd be a just Jester? definitely a peasant, yeah. Jester of you? That's, that's, oh, that's probably very accurate. Yeah, okay. All right, well, coming up in a little bit, uh, Joe Barlow is going to show.